really hard to come back after a weekend off to get back into the groove when this is slowing you down mm -hmm. out the gate, unfortunately. We've got a lot of snow across the valley. Anywhere from three to five inches has fallen. Thankfully, the accumulating snow is shifting eastward and out of here. Maybe a few flurries here or very light snow showers uh, linger in Clinton County. The rest of us have dried out. But watch for a little bit of blowing and drifting snow because we do have breezy conditions that will stay that way really through the first half of the day. But there goes the whole storm system moving away. It is going to become a blockbuster of a storm as it moves up the east coast, bringing even heavier snow to some of the most populated areas. But uh, we are seeing it wind down here. Just some clouds are going to linger as we head through the day. And then another quick moving system should stay just west of us as we head into our nighttime hours tonight. Our snowfall totals in from Bell Fountain tops the list here at five inches there. Wapakoneta, four inches. We had about three and a half in Piqua, a little less than that in Urbana. And close to three inches in Dayton and Springfield, Eaton right around two inches. So a decent snow and enough certainly to get things off a little bit slower this morning. It's 18 degrees right now, mostly cloudy. Mostly cloudy around noon will be near 23. Still a little breezy, but the winds should die down later in the afternoon. 25 at 5 o'clock and 22 at 7 o'clock. It's a north wind at 14. Gives us that wind chill of 4 degrees. So very cold. Our dew point has dropped into the teens. It's a whole new air mass for what we were dealing with over the weekend. And a lot of teens are popping up around the Miami Valley in Arcanum at 17. It's 17 in Piqua, 18 degrees in Urbana and in Tremont City. There's our area of low pressure moving away from us. Uh, so back behind it, we've got the wind shift. It's a northerly flow. Nine degrees up in Fort Wayne. Uh, the cold air is being pulled down southward, and we'll be running below normal for several days here. Uh, our low temperature tonight, in fact, will once again get, get down into the teens. 15 degrees here in Dayton, up towards Lima, 14, and then Mansfield hits the single digits. Here's Future Track taking that snow away from us as we go through the rest of this morning. We'll be dry at lunchtime, and five o'clock looks uh, mostly cloudy, but still very quiet across the area. Overnight, there will be little change in our sky condition through tomorrow morning, and we expect a pretty quiet Tuesday, too. Still looking at a lot of clouds lingering, and the cold air will remain in place. 26, the high for your afternoon. Mostly cloudy, breezy, colder, a little bit of blowing or drifting snow this morning. Tonight, we're going to dip to 15, so very cold with mostly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow, still cold, a mostly cloudy Tuesday with a high near 27 degrees. Your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. Wednesday, we start off in the teens again, but we should climb to 32 with some sunshine in the afternoon. And then Thursday is our next storm system. That one looks like it's going to draw in enough warm air. Temperatures get close to 40. That will see a little bit of rain. And even then, potentially some snow at the tail end of that one. Another shot at snow over the weekend.